of United Kingdom, Boris Johnson, and all the human rights for the people in United Kingdom. Here is the letter I wrote to you, and you never replied to me. I repeat again the letter I wrote. That was written on the 21st of September, 2021. The subject, freedom for Julian Assange, is vital for press freedom. Dear Prime Minister Boris Johnson, I write to you and ask, please counteract with concrete actions the illegal and relentless political persecution of Julian Assange by the United States for publishing truthful and factual information. And the people have the right to know. This extradition case against Mr. Assange has crumbled because Tordanson, the main witness of the United States, the CIA, has admitted to fabricating key accusations in the indictment against Julian Assange. At the beginning of your mandate, Mr. Boris Johnson, as a prime minister, you said you will review the U.S. and the United Kingdom extradition treaty. You said, Mr. Prima, Prime Minister Boris Johnson, that we'll re you will review the United States and United Kingdom extradition treaty, which is biased, you said, was biased in favor of the United States. This foreign policy, further to the magistrate court ruling on the 4th of January 21, preventing the extradition of Mr. Assange on Creole ground. United States on the grounds that extradition, extradition will be oppressive by reason of mental harm. As you will know, District Judge Vanessa Baraitza ruled that the U.S. was incapable of preventing Mr. Julian Assange from attempting to take his own life. I chair the widespread view that Mr. Assange's prosecution under the U.S. is espionage act sets a dangerous precedent for the freedom of the press, for our right to know, and criminalize investigative journalism in common with other journalists is practicing. He should be protected, Julian Assange, by the European Convention, by the United Kingdom government, by the United Kingdom justice system. And we must have the freedom of speech, the freedom of press, and you as our Prime Minister, must protect our human rights and the human rights of Julian Assange, which has been grossly violated by the state. He has been psychologically tortured in Belmar's prison for publishing the truth. It is therefore deeply worried that 
Judge, the judge did not find the legal basis for extradition. The U.S. was flawed, and the United Kingdom has been complicit in putting media freedom and freedom of expression on trial. Shame on you, Prime Minister. Shame! Shame on you, Boris Johnson, Prime Shame. Minister. There is a clear and compelling requirement for you, Prime Minister, to review the decision, to order Mr. Julian Assange not to be extradited to the United States and ensure that he is released with immediate effect. Julian Assange is dying in Belmar's prison for publishing the truth. Shame on you, Boris Johnson. You were a journalist before. Where are your principles? Prime Minister Boris Johnson. I also wish to express my deep concern that he has been refused to appeal again. Shame on you. Even Judge Baraitz has clear warnings about <laughs> Mrs. Baraitza, thank you, thank you, said that Julian Assange is mental health and his physical health has deteriorated badly. It is particular, particularly unacceptable for Julian to remain incarcerated any longer. And the harsh condition of high security detention, Belmar's prison, shame on you because your laws, your policies are killing our journalist Julian Assange for telling the truth. I fell an oath the views of Amnesty International that Mr. Assange should not have been jailed pending extradition in the first place. The charges against Julian Assange were politically motivated because you, United Kingdom, and United Kingdom judiciary law are obeying the United States administration. Shame! And the CIA. Shame on you! And the United Kingdom government should never have so willingly assisted the United States in its unrently and cruel pursuit of Julian Assange. Bravo, free Julian Assange. As long as the United States do not drop the charges against Mr. Assange, the freedom of the press, our human rights, our civilian rights, civil rights, are under threat. Shame on you, Boris Johnson. Shame on you political leader that's supposed to represent the people in the United Kingdom. The British government must make it clear that never again we allowed a foreign government to extradite a person. Here! From our country for revealing facts, for revealing the truth, that we all have the right to know. It will make a real difference, legal reform, to make political extradition impossible in the future 
es Baiton. Prime Minister Boris Johnson, this is the second time I'm asking you to stop the extradition of Julian Assange. Julian Assange is an innocent journalist, and you know that by fact. The brutal persecution of Julian Assange set a dangerous, set a dangerous precedent to the freedom of the press, the freedom of speech, and our right to know. Free Julian Assange now before it's too late. Prime Minister Boris Johnson, answer to my letter. Don't sleep on my letter. It's very important. You're supposed to represent the British people, but you are not. You are just obeying orders of the United States administration yeah, yeah. and the CIA. Shame on you. Shame. Shame on you, Boris Johnson and political leaders. Free Julian Assange, no! Free Julian Assange, no! Free Julian Assange, no! Free Julian Assange, no! Free Julian Assange, no!